Well, come on in out of that uh, cold, snowy weather that we're having today. Well, actually, it was, uh, I think it was in the 60s today. Probably going to be in the 60s tomorrow. But anyway, uh, come on in. Let's take a look at your inspection report. So stay with me. Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right-hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then, of course, you'll find my comments here below. Now let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey Katie, I went out to the house and cleaned and inspected both the uh, fireplace chimneys for you today. What a beautiful house, by the way. Great location, uh, too. And by the way, while I was there, your painters were working real hard, making the house look real nice. Uh, living room fireplace. This is uh, original to the house, right? It's an open wood-burning fireplace. No damper here at all, right? So we're losing heat and air conditioning up the chimney. Okay. Uh, both fireplaces are missing uh, profile mortar. That's that's where the uh, firebox and the uh, surround come together. And what is underneath here is a wood beam. In other words, the uh, fireplace itself sits on its own foundation. The hearth extension, the surround all sits on the house foundation. And where the two come together, there's a wood beam underneath there. Here's a view of the flu system. Oh, so I'm sorry. So it needs to be repaired so that the hot ashes don't get uh, swept down in there and cause a hot uh, a house fire. It's code required too, so that it needs to be repaired. Flu system looks good. No problems with that. Uh, up on top, traditional or wagon top t uh, cap up here. Like it. Looks great on the house. Screened on both ends. You can't see it. It was a little shadowy in here. Sorry about that, but I could see that it was screened in well. Um, flashing looks okay. No problems with that. Let's go in the uh, den fireplace. This is an isocurrin fireplace. Isocurrins are like a cross between uh, a prefab because they are built uh, at a different site and assembled uh, on the on the uh, job site here. So it's a it's a um, a hybrid you might say but anyway wonderful fireplaces uh, the people that install them sometimes uh, take a little holiday for instance right here this damper clip uh, is loose the problem is you can't get behind there there's cement back there you can't get behind there to hold the um, the screws <laughs> that you can tighten the nut there everything just turns at the same time so that may cause you problems in the future however you are burning a vented uh, product here. These coal, this coal basket is vented, which means it produces carbon monoxide, and the damper must stay open 24-7 for your protection. In other words, if you were to close the damper, forget to open it, fire up this unit right here, you'd fill the house up with something you wouldn't see or smell, and you'd be heading to the hospital. You'd be uh, filling it up with carbon monoxide. So anyway, so the, the, the loose damper uh, may not be a problem, especially if you're just going to leave the damper in one position. Here's that other uh, profile. This is the upper profile. It needs to be filled just like in the other room. Uh, Isocurrent flu systems look great. No problems there. Let's go up on top. You need to cut these branches away, right? That could be a fire hazard. Uh, also, when the wind uh, kicks up, uh, it'll knock the cap loose. And so eventually that cap will come blowing down and that would be the reason. Uh, flashing looks good. There's actually a gap. It's hard to see here. There's a gap between the chimney and the house here and uh, there's no problems here you can see a little bit of rotted wood on this uh, area right here and that'd be something that your whole house inspector or painting inspection would would, would come up with this is um, outside uh, gas line both the uh, the ball valve on this one was in the on position and also um, the one here inside uh, and there was no gas coming to it so and the gas is on at the meter so I'm going to say that it must be uh, off underneath the house somewhere 
that'd be a plumber's issue. And by the way, while we're talking about this um, coal basket, uh, it has no uh, controller, which means no pilot. Uh, you have to put a light to it, you know, a match to it before you turn the gas on, because if you turn the gas on and then try to light it, you might end up out in the front yard. We wouldn't want to, we wouldn't want to have that, unless of course somebody could take a uh, video of it with their with their cell phone, then that would be it'd probably go viral. Anyway, you folks have questions for me, give me a call 704-526-6348. You can email me at Chris at affordablesuite.com.